All right, Capricorn, this message is for you. Thank you for being here with me today. You can also reverse this, or you can be a cross watcher watching as well. Um, for those that will resonate with this message, I feel like somebody, unless it's you and it's reversed and you're wanting to work on something with someone, but I do think someone wants to like show you you can trust them. Show you they're willing to put in effort here and let you know they're dedicated to you or loyal to you because see I don't know who this is this could be anybody it doesn't have to be romantic I just feel like this is someone who like imagine you worked with somebody okay and this was like let's say you're the manager this is your favorite employee they are the most reliable they always come in blah blah, blah. but then they start slacking I don't know if they're slacking because they're dating somebody or they're slacking because they're on something or they're sh fucking slacking maybe they're having issues in their family right now this is just an example and you know, they start realizing that you're getting to the point or maybe you already did something about it, like you reprimanded them or whatever. You handled it the way you had to handle it or you will. But they don't want you to like lose favor in them or they don't want you to not like let them, let them in or let them back in or revoke their access. There we go with access again. Revoke their access to your life or something like that or to, I don't know, like, I'll, I'll say this. It does feel like someone... feels either responsible or a duty to or guilty about maybe even having got the connection with you where it is right now like they're they're almost admitting it whether they don't verbally admit it or not I don't know but emotionally this is someone who's admitting that they're kind of like am I the drama am I the problem am I the reason that we are on this tone and this level right now yeah 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 you are you know but it's not like you're trying to blame anybody <laughs> you know you're trying to blame anybody but you're kind of like I don't know see here's the thing too I don't feel like you're like you if you haven't already I definitely don't feel like you would bite your tongue when speaking to this person I feel like you would let them know this is why, and for these reasons, not like condescending, but straight up just like, this is why. This is why I have a tr problem trusting you. This is why that I reacted the way I did. This is why I'm reacting right now the way that I am. This is why I stepped back from you. Like whatever someone did, they crossed a boundary, they crossed a line, they disrespected you, or they disrespected the connection, the relationship, you as whoever you are in their life. They just, they're the reason that you are now handling things the way that you're handling things now the way that you've kind of kept a distance from them you handle them accordingly or something i don't know i don't know because i don't know who this fucking is it's like side eye because i just wanted to side eye like a mofo right then just like like this is someone who you side eye now in fact you may have even discovered depending on who it is, but you may have discovered yourself more since having kind of kept this person at an arm's distance. You may have been like, you know what? Mm. Like, maybe now you feel more independent. Maybe now you feel stronger than you've ever felt before. More confident than you've ever felt before. You didn't even know you could be as, like, I don't know, maybe in this person acting how they've acted or doing what they're doing or whatever they've done and whoever this is to you. It could be someone in the family, it could be an ex-partner, could be someone through the work. It's uh, an old friend. It, it got you to where you now are like, you know what, I don't, like, I don't want to have to go my whole life being just on my own constantly, but if I have to, at least I know I can. At least I know I can. I can do it. And, you know, some of you may have found spirituality, you may have found God, you may have um, gotten closer to, I don't know, your highest self in some way. You've realized something about yourself. You, you discovered more beautiful sides of yourself, man or woman, that you may not have known were there, how tough you were and how strong you are, had this situation not occurred. But... I think somebody wants to work through it. They want to, I don't know, just, they want to be closer. They don't, they don't want you to not let them back in. They want things to kind of resume. 
I'm also hearing resume. Resume. This may be someone who's done a couple of different things, maybe maybe several, but at least a couple of different things. You know why? Because when I look at resume, I see some, the word some, and like the sum of all fears is what I'm hearing, or the sum of something, the sum, 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 sum. I'm also hearing dim sum. That's not food. Uh, yeah, and so you may be like, no, this is added up over time. This isn't just like a first offense or this isn't like a first time you know what I mean if you're in a relationship with this person there may be something that you've already told them you don't like them doing it could be something to do with their work or money or I don't know the way they treat you the way they treat the kids the way they treat the dogs the fucking I don't know and you may be like look don't don't come home and and, and treat us like this because you're pissed off because you've had a bad day at work you know we all have our lives too I don't know what it is if you're in a relationship with somebody still they may feel like they need to make up for something with you because they've been kind of, I don't know. But you will get to a place where you're like, I can, I can do this on my own if I need to. I don't want to, but I will. You know, if this is an ex, you got to that place, you ended up leaving them, and now they're like, hey, you know, they still come around because maybe I'll have something together. Like a child or children or pets or property, or they just come around anyway because, like, you don't hate each other, but you, you still just don't, like... You've learned that you don't need someone. That hurts, guys. If this isn't romantic, this could be like a family member. Y'all used to be fucking tight. <laughs> my fingers were just because of my... I was like, why are my fingers so short? You know what I mean? Somebody could be really short here compared to the other one. Because I was like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, unless somebody's got high waters. Like, one person could have high waters because their legs are so long. And the other one could have little short legs. Because they can't help it. They're short. Aww. I see somebody like sitting on a couch and their legs are crossed. Like they're sitting like very um, proper. You know, just like, oh, my legs are crossed right now. That's kind of like, it's like a meeting. It's like, okay, and you were saying, I'd like to say what? It's almost very, um, I'm also hearing like need to know basis. You know, when you get to that level with somebody where it's like, we used to be real cool. We used to be real close, but now it's kind of like, it's just not, I don't know. Like, there could be somebody you were very close to, like, tight, you know? And you got to the place where maybe you felt like this person, maybe even something you were working on in your life that maybe they weren't working on and you weren't trying to tell them how to live their life or what to do. I mean, it's their life. But you couldn't be around it, you know? This, this was painful. I feel like it definitely was painful. And frustrating. Irritating. It depends, because this, this could go any way. But yeah, that's where we're at in this message. So something here, can we resume? Can we, you know, I want to be close like we were. I want to be close again. This could honestly be just something that's happening, like, right now. It just happened today. The past couple of days has been a lot of in a relationship or in a family or at work, you know what I mean? Or something, and a friendship even, and it's like, we'll make up kiss and make up we'll make up but right now we're kind of and I don't really need to talk to them right now it's gonna be someone who feels like I don't feel the need to talk to you right now or work through anything right now I'm doing my own thing or this has been going on a while you know so yeah that's what I'm getting resume resume may May. Maybe the month of May is significant for someone. I got mayonnaise in somebody's message earlier. I was like, mayonnaise? Maybe something to do with mayonnaise. Somebody don't like mayonnaise, does like mayonnaise. Maybe base the chicken in the mayonnaise. Make it softer, more flavorful. Hold in the juices. Mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. Something to do with May. May. Maybe someone's birthday is in May. Maybe somebody's name is May. Something significant happened in May. This May, they May, that May, future May, past May. You get it. Sorry. Sorry to repeat myself. I'm just trying to get what the story is here. I wish I may. I wish I might have this wish. I wish tonight. Like someone wished really, it could be you. You may have really wished that this person could have like 
worked on things. I'm hearing like worked on things when it really mattered and you know, or when you needed them to the most or something. I don't know. And now you're kind of like wishing on something else. Wishing on a different star or wishing on something, wishing for something else. I wish I may. I wish I might. Help me, God, to not get in a fight. <laughs> I wish I may. I wish I might. <sighs> Help me not go to jail tonight. <laughs> Stop. That's fucking funny. Some of you also feel like somebody needs to get a job. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you may feel like that. Oh, come on. Listen. I don't even know what anyone means by that, but I'm hearing it like that, like, or a different job. You may feel like someone needs to get a different job. Or maybe you're thinking about getting a different job. Someone here is thinking about getting a different job or thinks another should get a different job or thinks someone should get a job, period. But I don't know what anyone means by that because sometimes people can say, I wish you'd get a job, but someone does have a job because like maybe they're a working from home mom or dad, but that's a full time ass job. So I don't know what anybody means by that here, but something to do with a job because I see resume, unless this does have to do with work and this is entirely a work situation. I am not sure. I am uncertain on this. Uncertain. May, me. <gasps> no way. Is it Muse and Resume? Hold on. Sorry, I'm still looking at Resume. No fucking way. Look, Resume also has the word Muse in it. M-U-S-E, it's backwards, but still it's there. It has the word some, it has the word me, and it has the word muse backwards. Oh, someone who's like, look, I don't need you. I'm not trying to be mean, but like someone's thinking, I don't really, I don't need you. I don't need this. I don't need this bullshit. Like, I don't need this friendship. I don't need this family. I don't need, I don't need this. If this is how it's going to be, I don't need this. I don't need this job. I don't need this shit. I could take my resume and quit. I could, I could go on somewhere and get something better because I am a muse. Like someone here may be actually musing, which could be like looking into things, looking into what it would look like if they were to be on their own, looking into what it would be like if they were to get into a new relationship, looking into what it would be like if they were to get a different job, a new job, a better position, or looking into what it would be like to um, something here. Someone's musing something. Giving giving their interest into and their attention into elsewhere. Like maybe even their own career. Like what they want to do, you know? Like an entrepreneur here. Focusing on themselves rather than whatever's going on here. But this person's now wanting to work on something. Or, you know, work something out. And, and whereas you may be like, too late. Or I'm just not trying to hear it right now. I'm not trying to hear it right now. Maybe I'll hear it in the future. Maybe I'll hear it tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow will be in a different mood. But right now, no. No. <laughs> oh, and May is also yam backwards. You know, I, every time I look at a word, I try to see how many words I can make out of it. What words can I see backwards? Most of the time, I just accidentally see it backwards. And then we have yam. Isn't a yam a potato? Do you know what my favorite yam is? Japanese? It's like Japanese potatoes. Yes, the Japanese potato. That's my favorite potato. It is fucking delicious. Oh my god, y'all have to you have to try a Japanese potato. It is my favorite. I like sweet potatoes. It's like a sweet potato, but it's better. It is a yam. Is it? Let's see. Is a yam a potato? What's the difference? I'm hearing small fry. There you go with the reference on being short again. Something with French fries. What's the difference in Yams and potatoes. Yams and potatoes differ in several ways, including plant family. Well, hold on, let me just read. Let me simplify this for myself. Yams are not a type of potato, okay? <laughs> Both are stem tubers 
that grow underground. But they belong to a different botanical families. Two different. The potato is a part of the nightshade family. Oh yeah, did y'all know that a potato is yeah. The only reason I know that is because at one point I was eating a whole lot of fucking potatoes. Jasmine potatoes to be specific. I was eating a whole fucking lot of them. I started feeling kind of weird and I was like, oh, what is this? It just kind of felt a little off, felt a little weird. No, I couldn't really pinpoint it, put my finger on it. So I did a lot of research and I found that a potato was a nightshade. So it was a tomato, I believe. Fucking nightshade. I was over here drugging myself, didn't even know it was fucking the earth. With the earth. Which also includes peppers and tomatoes. I fucking knew it. Yams belong to a plant family of flowering vines that surprisingly include grasses and lilies. Are yams and potatoes the same? Nope. Nope. It says a nope. Are yams healthier than regular potatoes? Yams and sweet potatoes are nutritionally superior to regular white potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. What's up with potatoes here? Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. You could just be really different, you know? Like maybe you got a lot in common with somebody, but you're just really different unless y'all don't have anything in common. You know, like someone here, you're just realizing how different you are from them. You're just like, I'm just so different. Maybe it's different in the way you handle things or different in the way that you see the world or parent or love, show respect. It's just like, there's some sort of differences here that might get in the way. Somebody's a nightshade. And someone's not. <laughs> Someone you gotta take in small doses, otherwise they'll you. <laughs> oh my god, no, not like that. Or otherwise they could be harmful. Harmful to your health. Just dealing with somebody too much because they're like you know, it's like my ass eating all those damn sweet potatoes, some jasmine potatoes, because they're kinda sweet too. But uh, I was eating a shit ton of them and I'm like, man, I feel kinda weird. I can't describe it. Just be careful when you eat potatoes. Don't eat too much potato. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes. Potato. Something to do with Idaho, too. Idaho. I think Idaho potato. Pot. Unless it's like flower pot, because I look at potato and I also see pot. See, here we go, breaking down words again. Something to do with pot. Smoking the pot. Or someone's got a pot. Tate could also be something here. Tate. All right, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> I had fun. This was like, I like this message. I'm feeling a lot better, guys. I was feeling like shit the past few days, but especially this morning, I woke up with a fucking migraine. I'm just like, I took two naps. Two. And it still felt so weird, but Aquarius helped me out. I felt a lot better when I was done with Aquarius' message. And then we came back to this one. So, all right, guys. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.